All right, so today we're just gonna do a quick video on how to change the gland nut on a Fisher XLS. Uh, this one is a eight foot, opens up to 10 foot. So this is the gland nut here that I'm talking about on the top of the lift cylinder. Um, you also find them here on your angle cylinders as well on the bottom of the plow. So as you guys can see, there's a bunch of fluid coming out of there and uh, yeah, it's leaking down and it's just making a, a puddle on the ground underneath. So one thing you got to check, there's two different sizes depending on your plow. There is a uh, inch and a half and inch and three quarters. So I just got a caliper here. Just going to take a measurement here and hopefully you guys can see that, but it measures out to um, inch and a half. So I'll just quickly show you guys on the computer here, the part numbers. Um, so as you can see over here, hopefully it's picking up for you guys. Um, so if you have a inch and three quarter shaft cylinder, you find that usually on the bigger plows, the eight, six, two 11s, your part number is going to be four, three, one, three, five. And if you have the inch and a half, which is the one that we're dealing with, your part number is 48985. So I'm gonna get the cylinder off and we'll get it on the bench here and I'll show you guys how we change that gland nut. All right, so first thing to get these cylinders out, um, you got one pin in the top, one pin in the bottom, and one hydraulic line here. And then I like to take your uh, lift chains off as well. It just makes it a little bit easier and I can slide our catch pin in here so that when we take the fluid, when you take the hydraulic line out, the fluid doesn't just spill all over the floor. All right, let's do it. All right, so uh, we got the cylinder all disconnected now. Um, I had it on the bench over there trying to get the gland nut off, but it's really tight. And uh, I didn't want to clamp the barrel of the cylinder too tight in the vise just so I don't damage it. So what I did is that I put the bottom pin back in the cylinder on the plow just to help uh, from it twisting when I'm trying to take it off. Um, I don't even know what size that gland nut is. It's pretty big, so I just got my big uh, pipe wrench here. And now that it's holding it in place, um, you can just pull it. And then now you can see the gland nut is broke free. All right, so now we got the cylinder here on the bench with our gland nut already broke free. So what you're gonna do is just take it out. There's three parts inside of here. You have your gland nut with all your seals, um, as well as you got a bearing here, or a spacer. And then on the end here, you have a split ring bearing. So you gotta make sure you don't lose any of these parts. So that's the split ring that I'm talking about. It sits in this groove here. So we'll put that aside, put on a nice clean rag so it doesn't get too dirty. And then 
you have your spacer. It's gonna go there. Um, and then the reason we take this whole thing apart is because you don't wanna slide the gland nut off of this end, or it doesn't really matter taking it off, but when you're installing your new one, you don't wanna put it on from this side because over here um, there's a bunch of sharp edges and it'll end up damaging the seal. So you gotta take it all apart and you gotta slide it on from the back. So now we'll just get our gland nut off of the back and then that's it. So you can see there's some seals inside there um, and along the bottom as well. So yeah, we'll get our new gland nut and we'll install it and it's really simple. Just do everything in the uh, reverse order. All right, so here we got our new gland nut um, in the package. You get your gland nut and it comes with some instructions. Basically just says make sure you lubricate the seals before you put it on the shaft. And a couple, a little bit more information if it's a double action ram, but this one's just a single, so we can just throw that away. Um, so first thing, uh, we cleaned up all these things just quickly, just gave them a quick wipe. You wanna, on your ram here, you wanna just do a quick little inspection, make sure you don't have any deep scores and everything, make sure it's still nice and smooth. Um, so first thing we're gonna do is get some plow fluid here and I'm just gonna dump it on the seal and kind of lubricate the inside here. And then you have an O-ring on the outside. Also just pour a little bit of fluid on there. And then, yeah, just once again, you wanna make sure you slide this from the bottom end of the cylinder because if you do it from the top, um, you have a possibility of damaging these seals and then it'll just start leaking again. So yeah, you're gonna just take it. So it should be a little bit tighter of a fit. Um, you're gonna have to give it a little tap. Uh, maybe a more to get past, the, past your little uh, groove here for your split ring. So now that that's on, Next thing to go on is your bearing. And then your split ring goes in the bottom here. And yeah, you just slide all that in your tube. Sometimes it can be a little tricky to get those split rings in where they want. But just wiggle it around and eventually you'll get it. It all just slides back in. And you can just screw the gland nut back into your barrel. Um, as far as I know, these things are supposed to get torqued to about 150 to 180 foot pounds, but I don't have a wrench big enough for this size. So I'm gonna do what I did before, just put the bottom pin back in the plow and just get it snug enough to what I think is good um, with the pipe wrench. All right, so now we got the cylinder installed back inside the plow. Uh, lines hooked up, all the pins back in, cotter pins, everything. So we'll just give it a quick test, see it going up and down. Go. Down. Up. Down. Good. And you can see uh, staying dry under here, so. We got that nut tight enough and yeah, it's good to go. So the gland nut is about 50 bucks. Um, it's really not very inexpensive to get it fixed. I don't know how much you, they would charge to do it if you brought it to your dealer. So yeah, it's a quite a simple fix and doesn't take too much time. Probably took us maybe 20 minutes altogether to take that cylinder off, get all that stuff replaced. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you on the next one.